This is a case of a 44-year-old male patient who presented with severe left-sided abdominal pain. Initially, CTKUB showed acute uh, left-sided retroperitoneal hemorrhage, hematoma, and further evaluation with a CT of the abdomen and the pelvis was done for further assessment. Additionally, this uh, mass was revealed in the previous CDKUB. So let's scroll the images up and down and uh, let's make your impression. So as you see, here is a mass. Here is the uh, left uh, kidney. And here is the hematoma. Let's go up again and have a look. As you can see, the mass is in contact with the anterior aspect of the left kidney, but does not look that uh, it arises from it. If we go upwards, probably this uh, structure is part of the left adrenal and uh, uh, after that we can see that uh, the mass arises from somewhere in this region. So there is higher possibility to be a left adrenal mass rather than a left renal mass as initially uh, was uh, assessed. And uh, this is a post contrast uh, image in arterial phase. Okay, there is a large mass which shows uh, inhomogeneous enhancement with some areas of central hypo attenuation, hypo enhancement. And this is the portal venous phase. The inhomogeneity is more prominent in the latest images in the portal venous. Of course, uh, we can see the hemorrhage, the retroperitoneal hemorrhage, the hematoma. and some perinal uh, reactive fluid, probably this is also some hemorrhage as well. In coronal views, here is the lesion, and here is the hematoma. And in sagittal view, we can see the lesion here. At this point, I would like to make some comments regarding this uh, finding because it is highly suspicious of ferrochromocytoma. And uh, if it is uh, so, and uh, if uh, there is a hemorrhage in Pheochromocytomas. This is a life-threatening situation, and I will explain you why. First of all, sponta spontaneous ad adrenal hemorrhage is rare, but uh, it is well known that it is a potentially a life-threatening condition. And according to the literature, the most common neoplasm resulting in spontaneous adrenal bleeding is pheochromocytoma, which accounts for nearly 50% of cases. And uh, most importantly, the mortality rate of a ruptured pheochromocytomas is reported to be about 30%. Uh, complications are very common. Uh, some of them are hypovolemia, due to hemorrhagic shock, heart failure as a result of catecholamine excess, uh, postoperative uh, hypotension or even pulmonary edema. And all these uh, conditions may, may cause uh, 
high mortality rate. These tumors are said to follow the rule of 10% because 10% of theochromocytomas are extra adrenal, 10% of them are bilateral, 10% are malignant, 10% are found in children, 10% are not associated with hypertension, and 10% contain calcification. And uh, closing to this uh, uh, case, I would like to let you know that uh, every time you see that uh, there is a hemorrhagic adrenal mass, the first thing we must exclude or confirm is bleeding pheochrocytoma. Because almost 50% of uh, bleeding adrenal masses are pheochromocytomas. And secondly, because this is a life-threatening situation. Dear friends, thank you for watching. If you find my videos interesting and tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. So, see you the next time.